the red ones didn't get here in time. So we'll wait for them. Thank you. Recording now or next week? Just recording right now. Thank you very much, Victor. And for those of us just just joining us online, I am Matt Gubinski, a first year theologian for Birmingham, and my broadcast partner here is. Thank you very much, Victor. All right. The college gets the ball. It just starts the second quarter. They are four yards away from getting a first down. Again, I feel I said this frequently a few minutes ago, they are up six to nothing over theology, but theology looks very hungry out there. I don't know how I can, I don't know how to get on that. I'm not sure either how to do, I mean, I... My snap to Michael Radigan, ready for the option. Oh, 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 that was a first down for the college by it's on, it's a, it's Michael Radikin. They are, they are the captains this year, and so far, uh, it's a job. They, they do are, are doing a great job. Definitely undermanned out there. But both of them, I mean, I still except well, uh, Peter Sheck did not play in last year's uh, uh, but Michael, but Michael Radikin excelled. Of course, it. Of course, it. Of course it. That's what he asked me. It is, is second my upload is first down and my download for the college, mm -hmm. which is great having a 15 upload. That's where you want it. But the download setting up. Fifteen gigabyte. Yeah, it, and it's in the backfield. Goes straight up the middle, where he is stopped by John Paul Hamerly. John Paul Hamerly, interesting fact: two-time kidney donor. We're doing fifteen up there. Yes, I'm not sure why. You don't know about the inside jokes. On this connection, Wi-Fi connection. All right, collegians make out. Are they? Switch out some players. Or the we got server. Shane here. Okay. So, I mean, I, I, I can get them all on my page, but when I press connect, it doesn't. Shane yeah. coming in. I talked to Brendan. We got theology waiting so, patiently so for the ball to we'll get snapped. Okay. It's probably a question for Mr. Fry. Got some Fry surprising new or some NIT. exciting new faces out there on the field them. Yeah, that's from last year. Right. We've got a few I'll men who have made the switch from college. We've got Zach Shane, David England. Of course, the mononym Joey. It, it's not given and we have PT1, Zach Goodchild. Zach, yeah. I think he's too said that Zach is brother Mike, you know, our best friends. Oh, wow. Zach and Father Lump are best friends. Wow. <laughs> I don't know how interesting he's got, but, yep. you know. We've got Zach now <laughs> lining up with safety here. we got Sam Severance now in the game. Claims he was baptized at St. Anthony's here in Columbus. We haven't checked the video to see if it was baptized. All right. The collegians will move it back. Simon Ortiz with the pass to Michael Raddick, and where he is literally physically stopped before his flag is removed. And Girardi was also on the stop. Kevin Girardi. Wow, 41 hot wings in a single <laughs> sitting. That is <laughs> definitely, not if nothing else proves that he's now. a man, that definitely is. That's what it is. it! <laughs> <laughs> Got Joey lined up at safety. Simon Ortiz is the quarterback. Hands off the ball to Michael Radigan. And he is stopped behind the line. I didn't see it. They, the theologians swarmed on Michael Radigan. Patrick is doing a great job. Yeah, he is. And uh, 
point that we have here, man. He says that I have 11 toenails in your kitchen and the pantry. Ah, 11 toenails that help with that propulsion. That explains a lot. Patrick, being one of the faster players on the field, I can definitely see. <laughs> now I know the secret. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> We have fourth down. The college is punting. Ready to run the ball back for theology are Patrick DePue and Joey. The annual confusion over the punt protocol. Whoa! And we have a blown snap. <laughs> I want to thank, once again, our pet band, which is 100% made up of diocesans from Edensburg, New York. He was on that thank you very much, Lucas Gruber. Theology takes over the ball with her first in. Possibly going? I can't see the ball here. We have Collins, Kevin Girardi, and David England in the backfield. David England loses his flag in the backfield. Well done, Peter Schreck. You got anything over there on Peter Schreck? There, Victor. Said that he was born in Germany. Hey, what's up, Pete? Oh, 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 Patrick DePew with the ball now. Runs it to the right. He's yeah. not stopped. He goes into the end zone. Touchdown theology. It seems that not only I thought that Patrick was down, but for a moment, Patrick also seemed to think that he was tackled. <laughs> I can definitely see <laughs> There is a penalty on theology, so it is pushed back. I want to take a moment to thank the referees who are here today. Thank you all very much for joining us and helping us to have this great time out here at the Mud Bowl. Collins in the backfield, tosses it to Joey, who runs up the middle and is stopped by Peter Shack. Fifty-three left in the half. Theology has the ball, and they are down six to nothing after a failed point after try by the college. Collins, looking, rolling around, decides to carry it himself, and he stopped just yards short of the end zone. Collins, huh? Collins S. Well, I used to listen to the Gregorian chant before COVID came, including today. Oh, wow. So That's one way to get pumped up. He was listening to <laughs> Listening to the Gregorian chant. Absolutely, just moments left yeah. in the half. Theology with the ball. Now, can you tell us something about our, uh, about more about David England, who has been really productive running the ball today for Theology? I guess my thought, you know, again, this is his first year in Theology, having attend, graduated college here last year. We have. Collins, Hess, and Patrick DePew lining up in the backfield with Joey and Zach Goodchild as receiver. Kevin Girardi runs up. Uh, Collins goes with the ball. Ah, oh, and he stopped after running to the right. 
Theologians are stopped before the end zone. Two minute warning, two minutes left in the first half. Now coming up at halftime, we are going to have interviews with Father Basso, with both coaches, and maybe a player or two, and a response from theology to the election of Pope Chewy II. We've got Joey and Colin in the backfield now. Joey gets snapped the ball, runs it up the middle, and he's and he's stopped. Now it's fourth down. All right, now the theologians have, are facing a goal line fourth down with less than two minutes to go in the half. It has been an exciting game so far. Michael Hammerley has been a stalwart at center for theology for several years now. We got Pat DePew. And we got Collins and Zach Goodchild in the backfield. The toss is to Joey, who catches it for a touchdown for theology. That was a great move. That was a good series for theology. I gotta say, it has been a classic play for the last, at least since I've been here, to just toss it to Joey. The theologians are going for one in this point after try. For the point after, we have Collins lined up as quarterback, Zach Goodchild and Pat DePew in the backfield. Collins with the ball, scrambles, and he's stopped in the backfield. So now we have a tied game with less than two minutes left. Tied at six. College is going to run a rushed offense. Birmingham's own John Gardner coming into the play. We've got 47 seconds for the college to work with here. Be interesting to see what they do, huh, Victor? It is an interesting good game so far. Like I said, I was expecting more from the theology house. But, you know, they're doing a good job, definitely. Trying hard. We got hope here, I believe. Absolutely. We got the Pope here next to us. So that brings us hope. Uh, We're going to have words on the Pope coming up in an interview during halftime. We half love to listen to the Pope. All right, college breaks huddle. We've got Joey at safety. We've got theology lining up fairly close, fairly tight on the college this time. Shane Gary, first time playing, right? Oh, no, Shane got in earlier. Shane got in early. I'm, we got John Gardner in for the first time lining up at receiver. We got Brother Joseph. He's a perennial, it seems. We got Michael oh Rodigan running in. Running and he stopped after a few yard gain by Zach Shane and JP Hammerley. Now, oh, we've got a visit from the Theology Papal Bull. <laughs> Thank you very much. Mascots don't talk, Vicar. I don't know what you're talking about. Bulls don't talk, even paper ones. <laughs> Got a timeout. With 41 seconds left in this half with a tie game 
six to nothing. Both teams having missed their point after attack. This is half. I kind of use gotta use the bathroom. So we saw John Gardner go in there, and you know John Gardner, you know he uh, spent some time at Stevens yeah, before coming here, and also spent some time. This is not his only time in front of the camera, because as a child. He was a model in Japan, so he is no stranger to the camera. He wants to interview me. All right, college lines up with 41 seconds. Theology playing him pretty close. Simon Ortiz in the quarterback position, and he gets stopped behind the line by Kevin Girardi and Michael Hemmerle. Gotta love that kind of aggression from the theology house, from the two Hammerleys there. I mean, Simon was surrounded by both of them. That was, it was almost ham sandwich. <laughs> I'll be here all day, people. Be <laughs> here till December 18th. <laughs> <laughs> All right, college is lining up with the right hand. All right, that was a great first half for this boy here. Both the college and theology have done a phenomenal job. All right. So first interview of the game, game we, uh, of the halftime, we have a very special representative from theology to respond to the claims of this new pope here from the college. So, um, all right. Thank you, Mr. Tyler Carter. Yes, so as a uh, cardinal elector, as a prefect two years ago for Pope Sue the First, uh, you know, I've got to say, we need to cry here in theology, this, this pretender. He's really no different than Pope Michael, and, uh, you know, our dear Rector Father Dassault can really speak to that, as he uh, already talked to Pope Michael and told him that he's not really the Pope. So, you know, one of many paper pretenders, but in theology, you know, we have people bull. Who do you want, a bull or a pope as a mascot, you know? I mean, one's a little more powerful, no offense. Not in the spiritual sense, but in the physical sense. So. Well, yeah, surely. Surely a bull is more powerful than what you're claiming is a schismatic pope. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> wow, strong words from Mr. Tyler Carter from Columbus in Theology Today. Thank you Thank very you. much, Thank sir. you, glad to be here. All right. Thank you very much. And now Victor is going to interview uh, Rector Father Bissot. Right. Well, Victor, I'm enjoying this game a lot. Uh, first time we're doing the live stream today. So what do you think about it? Oh, bother. We are really catching up with everybody else into the 21st century. Uh, another question. Um, yeah, any thoughts on doing the first Victor interview on the Pontifical College of the YouTube channel? Wow. It's almost as good as being named a Monsignor. <laughs> Almost. <laughs> Almost. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that answer. <laughs> but, all right, yeah, do you think this game has any added significance because of the pandemic? Hmm. No. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. I wasn't expecting that answer. <laughs> okay, but uh, what are your thoughts on the second annual presentation of the Muslim Trophy and how has this Muslim impact been this year? This is a, yeah, this is a great one. So let me talk seriously. This is, you know, when I was uh, appointed rector, before I started, I met Jason. We, I came up here three times, and every time I met Jason, and uh, certainly I remembered a lot of the guys, but it, there was always something special about Jason. And I was so excited that uh, he was going to be a part of the seminar. And uh, of course, over the summer, and he lost his life and, in such a heroic fashion. It was devastating for us. But what a great way to remember him, uh, to, give, to give now, from here on out, the Marshall Trophy to the winner. Uh, you know, Jason exhibited faith, 
He exhibited uh, excellence in the field and in the classroom. And uh, he was just a real model seminarian. So um, say that this is, this is the man that you know, the trash to Tokyo. You know, and it seemed like a no brainer. Like, how much do you think I would do this? It seemed to fit. So, yeah, so it's important. A lot of guys still know him, but you guys didn't get a chance to meet him. But um, I really is going to add something to this already present tradition. Yeah, there's many of us that he met him. There was some of them that uh, he met him, and he was a great guy. Same thing for many of us. The attitude that he showed to us, I think it's great. I mean, every time the student came, he came in the play, he came in the play. And just name him, you know, the target of the mission of most people. Oh, it's great. So yeah. we are this, you know, class, yeah. and praise, and um, yeah. I think he might be praying for us. Yeah, that I'm sure. Now, I have no doubt yeah. on that one. I'm so sure. Father, thank you so much. You're welcome. You're welcome. I hope you're enjoying the game. Yeah, thanks for not being tough on me. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, Father. Yeah, we're having a good time right here. It's the light change to you now. Um, Father, Victor, who seems to be busy right now. Do you have time for an interview? You are. One of the, one of the stars of the college. One of the stars of the college. <laughs> As we know there's a lot of time around here these days. <laughs> <laughs> Question, but how's, how's the game been with this? Uh, sure. I mean, no, it's been a great game. It's tied. Uh, college team started out with a quick touchdown and an interception, so that was very exciting for my team. And uh, we hope that we can just win the second half. Let's take it. So, what do you guys do for the next half? I think, so the college started out well by running the ball. I'm not going to tell the, I'm not going to say anything because theology is listening to me right now, I can see them. So, so in the meantime, I'm just going to continue to say nothing and could distract them so they don't talk amongst themselves. But uh, I just hope college continues to get some successful plays and we can end up with a victory. Why do you regret not playing with the yeah, I don't regret not playing with the Kale this year. That was a question. Uh, I'm just asking a question that I have here. <laughs> now, another question is why do you feel the need to try to steal my name? You stole me? What are you thinking? 28 to report the enemy? No? That's right. Yeah, yeah, let's move on. Why is it complicated? He lost that game. Why is it complicated? Oh, felicidades. En tu día. Yeah, Father, thank you so much. Muchos años más. Gracias. Gracias. Thank you for it. Thank you very much, Father Victor. It's a great game. Great time with Father Cristal, Father Victor. Y saludos. Saludos. Saludos, Father Victor. Again, for those of you who may have joined us since we began the broadcast and since we began the game, welcome to the 2020 Mud Bowl at the Pontifical College Josephine, our annual flag football game between the Theology House and the Collegians. This year, the game is tied at six, with both teams having missed the point after the attempt. That's right. We have not only the Pope, but we have our own mascot. Theology has the papal bull, who, for the basketball tournament, we all come together under the papal bull as we go and invite many seminaries here only to crush them in a basketball tournament. <laughs> We're good at basketball, apparently not hospitality. What with inviting it? people yeah, yeah, only to be beaten on basketball. We're let's, on let's not work on that part. Let's right. continue winning this <laughs> basketball tournament. <laughs> we still have and are graced by our one-man pet band, Mr. Lucas Grupa. 
Starting the half with Let's the ball go, D. this time. Andrew Feaster starting under center, moving Michael Hammerly to guard. We've got caught in this under quick attack. Throws the ball to Max Gallegos, who keeps running, and he's stopped by Peter Sheck. There seems to be an extra flag on the play. There, oh, there we go. So now we still have Feaster under, or as the center. The Collins as the quarterback in shotgun throws it to Pat Lapeer, a screen. Gets several yards before getting stopped by Thomas Cox. Thomas Cox, who gave us no facts about his background. There's no need for that. That's right, you are his dad, are you not? Yeah. You know, we don't need to give facts about ourselves. It's a very good team playing. Nah, he was going to be the expected winner of the uh, Pontifical College Josephine and Four Miler this year. Having come in third last year and both of the other men moving on. Collins under center in the shotgun. He tosses it to Pat McHugh. And he is finally stopped by Simon Ortiz. Speaking of Simon, actually. What's the score? Where's the information? Six, six, six. All right. <laughs> Speaking of Simon Ortiz, by the way, we want the college wants to warmly thank Mr. Peter Valenzuela, who made the college you here today, which has the college cardinal with a mask over its beak. Is there attempted a joke, huh, Victor? He would. He would. All right. <laughs> yeah! Yes, he stopped in the backfield. Caleb and his family. <laughs> so they are, the teams are both moving back. The theology will be punting the ball now. If I had to guess, Victor, I would say Joey is taking the punt, having been a kicker in high school, and I believe for a little bit in college. Again, he gave us no facts on himself. Something about Connor McGregor. All right, more, more confusion as we uh, go over the punt. And Michael Radican gets the And he stopped very early by burning him zone. Holly's Chris. Yeah! Ah, shout out to, um, to Gloria and his dad's Doug, his brother Doug, sister Glow and brother Christian. Hope you all are having a wonderful day. It is a good day to be playing the model right now. Where is it? It is a pick one, Victor. Um, <laughs> it is all at the same time. It's, a, it's an overcast day today <laughs> with a slight breeze and it's beautiful out. It, is, it is a typical Columbus now. day with the sun nowhere in sight. And, and surprisingly, this year, the first time since I've been here, the Mud Bowl does not live up to its name. It is very dry here. <laughs> we got Michael Radican and Shane Garrity in the backfield. Shane doesn't block Kevin Girardi. And
Yeah. The college gets a few yards before the receiver was stopped. We have five minutes left in the quarter where the score is still six to six. College breaks the huddle now with Michael Radican in the backfield. And Thomas playing off the tight end. We've got Brothers Joseph in the backfield now. Michael Radican moves to the right. And he is stopped by Zach Goodchild. I'll tell you what, that Zach Goodchild is a bad man. <laughs> That's Father Slum, best friend. That's right. That, that, some commentary from Father Lum. As Zach said, you know, they are best friends. So, some of you may not have caught this earlier, but David England is wearing a leather old-timey football helmet, which has been passed down from Father Mark Simpson from Nashville to the player that is just best known for just totally opening up and playing far past their natural skill level. So that truly was well chosen for the ring. And the high by the bag, and those pass, Josh White with the Kevin Girardi picked him up. Yeah, do you have more things that America has always been great? America has always been great. Yeah, I could go with that. All right. College is deciding. Right now. Theology patiently waiting. Golf style announcement. College decides to go for it on fourth down with several yards to go. I still think we should paint out the individual hash marks. It's really easy to say when that's the one thing I haven't volunteered for. Who's going to be punting for the call? Was I even paying attention to my own stupid Simon Ortiz throws it. It goes, makes contact with his hands, but it goes through. Now, Brother Joseph, if I did the math correctly, is one of ten children. Well, he's got nine siblings, so he's one of ten. All of whom together are apparently called the bird. That's right. He's from San Diego. His Padres are doing extremely well this year. And we have theology lining up. We've got guard Christopher Hoffman and center Andrew Feaster and David England on the right guard lining up against... Now we, oh, we've got Collins lobbing it to Joey. He goes in for the touchdown. The college doesn't even attempt to go for the flags. Brings us up to 12-6. Now, we mentioned Christopher Hoffman there lining up at guard. He has a few interesting things. He has. He says, I have hiked the bottom of the Grand Canyon. I have played goal in every sport I have played. Except today. I, still, yeah, except today. Um, he said, it's like storm the field when ISU beat OSU a few years back. Uh, and, and if I'm not mistaken, he is the two-time Oreo stacking champion at the Missouri State Fair. That's right. And he's lining up at guard for theology today. Patrick getting snapped. Running it to the side, and he runs it in after Simon Ortiz makes a valiant effort. 
Time now, two. that brings the score to Theology 13, oh, College 6. Thank you, Dave. There's some of these issues with Python. He said that I've been vibing with St. Therese to Lavi that late. Oh, yeah. He's, like he's been, he's been just totally, his spiritual life yeah. has just been blasting off. And it's helping him. Absolutely. <laughs> Reading through so that a oh, Let's give a shout out to his family there, Victor. All right. Uh, I apologize. Uh, well, uh, Brian, Brian and Dana are his parents. Thank you very much. Uh, thanks for giving us Patrick. 114 left in the quarter. 114. Thank you. Theology eagerly lining up on defense as the college breaks the huddle. We've got Simon lining up in the wishbone. Takes the handoff to Michael Radican and runs to the right, and he's finally stopped by Jack Chen. Ah, Brian, Deacon Brian Smith just made it onto the field. Now, before he played in the Mud Bowl last year, the only other time he'd been on a football field was when he was in the band at Notre Dame. We appreciate the Deacon joining us for his final Mud Bowl. He's going to do a great job on defense. Yeah, he's at Sunday. They have to preach tomorrow, Sunday. So I hope he doesn't get injured. Yeah, yeah he's asking for that. <laughs> All right, college diamond break the huddle. Peter Sheck as the center. Simon Ortiz is the quarterback. Brother Joseph and Michael Radigan in the backfield. Simon hesitating and gets stopped in the backfield by Zach Shane, who is just on fire this series. Are now moving into the third quarter. Fourth quarter. Am I even counting? All right. Hope you are. <laughs> this is why I did not major in math. <laughs> Any math-related field. Cut the idea, man. Right. Actually, you know, I was in radio before this, actually, and that kept me to having a seeing things in units of 60. So whenever the gas because, you know, we'd have breaks in 60 seconds, you know, and you know, 30 seconds. So whenever gas would get to, say, 259, I would get kind of frustrated because I was pretty sure the next time it would go up, it would go to $3. <laughs> so, again, that's why I moved away from math. Oh, that's a good thing to do. That's right. That is the sole reason we're here. So again, thank you for joining us, all of you, for the very first time, for our very first, first live narrow cast on the Pontifical College Josephinum YouTube channel. Thank you all very much for Mud Bowl 2020 out here, where theology leads 13 to 6 begin the fourth quarter. College still has You've got your flags. You need to tuck in your shirt though, they'll call you for that. Hey, you haven't done it yet. Start of the fourth quarter. Mud Bowl 2020. Theology leading the college. Michael Radican alone in the backfield. Runs to the right, and he's finally stopped pretty much by gravity. Mainly David England. 
but he was long past David England before the flag actually fell. So we'll chalk that tackle up to gravity. Or David's guardian angel. Helmet, they say. That was the uh, old tip of the hat for Mr. David England. Both teams in phenomenal spirits with theology bantering around even on the field. College lines up fairly tight in the line. Radican runs to the left through the line. And he's stopped by the violator. By Zach Shane. Zach Shane has been on fire this series. He's like that credit card slogan from the 90s. He's everywhere you want to be. He is. And now I'm remembering that no one in the college lives around for that. Thank you very much again to our pet band. Again, 100% made up of the Diocese of Ogdensburg. That is a phenomenal step. And Michael Radican runs it to the right before he's finally stopped by Michael Hammerly. Hammerly is subbing out for Christopher Hoffman. Christopher Hoffman, two-time Oreo stacking champion at the Missouri State Fair and lover of knee-high socks. <laughs> he wore these same socks for the softball tournament. <laughs> Michael Radigan, alone in the backfield, runs it through the middle, and he gets past. Here's J.P. Hamley, a nice shove as he's being tackled. Well, stopped anyway. No one was tackled. Thankfully, we've not seen any tackles yet today. Yeah, it's recording. Already on channel one. The only thing is bringing it down with my hands. Let's go! Come on, Let's go! Watch the All right, so oh, yeah. this is an interesting lineup. We have all of the power lined up to the end of the ball. Is that better? Uh, it's cool. Yeah, it's better. Not sure what that's for. Michael oh. Radican runs to the right. Oh. Fake oh. finally oh. goes oh. to the other oh. oh. And draws oh. the ball. Oh. 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 the ground. Michael <laughs> Joseph has not been afraid of lying out for the ball today. He has been sacrificing himself. It's been, there's mercy there. There's mercy there. Look out. We have 5.45 left in the game. What, 1.45? I thought it said 5.45. I think it said 5. I was not expecting commentary from the color guard today. I apologize. <laughs> Many thanks, truly, to everyone who has participated and helped out today and volunteered, everyone who's made this possible. Um, this is turning out to be a great game, and I want to thank everybody who's been a part of that. College, once again, lining up all to the right of the ball. Snap to Michael Radigan. Thrown up. And almost oh. intercepted by Kevin Girardi. Kevin Girardi was the bearer of the leather helmet last year. 
and has been playing equally aggressively this year. I mean, she doesn't need that. Absolutely. <laughs> it was it was a gentleman move of him to recognize talent in David England and give him the leather helmet. Still, geez, have possession. Right? Wanna, ah, that was a. I'm being told that was a fourth down attempt, and that theology is now in possession of the ball. And head coach Sam Severance has stepped in for theology. Sam was last year's quarterback for the team. Oh, nope, he's stepping back out. We've got Collins Hess and Bri Deacon Brian Smith in the backfield. I want to say hey to Brian's parents, Victor. Collins throws it up to Kevin Girardi. It's complete touchdown theology. Kevin Girardi showing once again why he earned last year's leather helmet. Kevin Girardi says consider himself a big man this week. Well, I've not seen no one idea, of those man. in quite a while. I have no idea what that is, but that's what he says. They are going, Theology is going for two points, which will bring it to 21 to 6 if they can make this. We got Andrew Feaster as the center. And we've got Collins and Deacon Brian Smith lining up in the backfield with Zach Goodchild off to the right with Kevin Girardi. Collins throws it to Max Gallegos, who was heavily covered by Peter Sheck. And so he, that was a failed attempt by Theology. But Theology now has to lead 19 to 6. 4.30 left in the game. It's 19 to 6. 19 to 6 again with 4 minutes and 30 seconds. And theology started off slow, but they seem to have picked up. And you remember we have Juan Blan playing his side. Ah! From Vietnam. And the bad is of Juliet. That's right. Juan was the Diocese of Juliet, and according to him, he was. Only yeah, Juan. Practiced a lot. He has a heart of gold, and he is doing a great job coming in today. Probably going to make a serious stop on these uh, collisions. Oh, there's right no now. doubt. Same same thing. He's straight. You know what? He is wiry, and he's going to get into the backfield. I guarantee this. Speaking of the backfield, we got Simon Ortiz lined up. We've got Michael Radican and Brother Joseph as the wide receivers, but Simon Ortiz is stopped in the backfield after a valiant attempt at blocking by Peter Lukashenko. Diocese of Phoenix? Diocese of Phoenix, Simon, Peter, Thomas, and, everyone staying there. And our own birthday boy, Mr. Birthday. Victor Fructuoso. Yeah. 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 Day, right? yeah. <laughs> Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Feliz cumpleaños. Have you seen <laughs> the theology guys have exuberantly wished Victor a happy birthday. The collegians did not, I don't know what their problem is. <laughs> yeah, I'll talk to them after the game. Yeah, this is a serious matter. Simon yeah. has the ball. He's scrambling in the backfield. He sees the gap. David England chases him down and stops him. Nice. Great effort by Simon Matisse, but he is, it is just squashed by David England. I think this is we had a conversation before the game with David Green, practicing his Spanish, and I'm sure that helped him out. That I'm probably... Sure. <laughs> I'm so sure, you know? That he, he would not have been yeah. able to cover the distance yeah. without that Spanish yeah, practice. He, we're praying in Spanish, so, you know, yeah. that helped him out. That's a great point. Yeah. That's a great point, baby. David! This is what makes you the best commentator in the business, David. I'm no doubt. <laughs> <laughs> All right, got Tuan lined up in nose tackle again. The Hammerleys as the linebackers. Tossed to throw to Michael Radican, who dodges tackle. 
until until the Zacks take him down. Good team effort there. Again, Zach Shane is like a little Wolverine out there, scrambling around, being vicious, not in the philosophical or theological way, as far as I'm aware. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he's virtuous, but you know, in this game, he's been pretty good. Oh, sure. All right, and we have two minutes and 17 seconds left in this game with theology up 19 to the college's six. Now, for all the talk that you know theology's been doing or we've been doing about theology. College has some great athletes and truly have the ability to come back and they could they're definitely really gonna close the, the gap. They could probably they could possibly yeah. win this game. They do There's have no the talent, they've got the attitude, they are the defending champs, they won last year, which they reminded right. us a couple weeks afterwards by all showing up in matching t shirts that said twenty nineteen Mud Bowl champions. So they've been there before. They know how to do it. But did they, by doing that, put a sour taste in the mouth of the theologians? They've got the t-shirt budget to do it. You see the shirt Joey is wearing right now? That's right. He's, Joey is intimidating the collegians with his free hugs t-shirt. No wonder why they're away from him. I mean. That's right. They have been avoiding Joey like the plague. All right, Twan lining up aggressively against the line there. Cuts through to the backfield before Simon Ortiz lobs the ball. And, and catches it. Touchdown for the college. Wait, are we not to say? Yeah. We need to not be saying that, I think. Shame. Another field that died, but you thought it was a That's right. One of uh, the stats he gave us, actually. Yeah. Yep. Now, one of the men that you've seen on the field is Josh White, who he has some pretty interesting stats coming into this. He has made absolutely no tackles in his mud bowl career. However, he is 100%. Every catch he's caught in mud bowl history has been yeah. a touchdown. <laughs> The college is going for one. Twan is looking furious out there. The main spot right here. <laughs> it is currently 19 to 12. College going for one. Father Victor not wearing flags. He has no Simon mercy, in, the, in the backfield yeah, goes to the right, scrambles to the left as Lincoln Brian Smith chases him down. Oh, and he's stopped by the stopped by theology, 19 to 12. I told you, Victor, the college is still hungry. They are. They are. They don't have enough. That's what they want. And we that now brings us to the two-minute warning. Two minutes left in this year's Mud Bowl 2020, as opposed to last year's Mud Bowl 2020. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, there's something going on right now. Sky is on fire. Charlie House is doing a great job. Polly Sox is in great job. So I wonder, like, what's going to be the final? It's, it's, this is going to be, this is an exciting game, Victor. It is, this it has is. been phenomenal. Again, I want to thank everybody who's been a part of it. Um, I want to thank all the players, the coaches, the pet band, the color guard, Father Dylan James for doing the national anthem for us before the game. That, that was truly a treat. Now, college is lining up, up against theology with Collins Hess and Pat Pugh in the backfield with Kevin Girardi, Joey, and Zach Goodchild running out oh, and Patrick gets the ball he keeps running there was a fumble as he was surrounded by three or four collegians flags flying everywhere 
Thank you very much to Jake Bellinger who came here. Um, he's coming out. He's been subject out. He has been a phenomenal force for the college. College. Both teams attempting to take a timeout right now. One of them has succeeded. I'm not sure which. We don't know. We have one minute and 38 seconds left in the game with Theology up 19 to College 12. Now the players have been playing their hearts out up there. The college seems to have a new spirit about them. They are definitely, definitely ready for this, this next less than two minutes. Right. They're definitely doing a great job, guys, and college. Seems to be so united. So for the the Theology guys. breaks the huddle. Very serious, very sober. Collins Hess and David England in the backfield. David the Bruiser England. Kevin Girardi moves in. Joey goes out for a pass. Collins is stopped in the backfield with a shift by Peter Lukashevsky. Well done, Peter. One minute and 30 seconds we have left for this game. It's pretty exciting game, theology and college house. It's been a great game, definitely. So the college guys are united, talking to each other, communicating to each other. Still, it kind of seems they're pretty worried about what's going on right now. I want to take this moment to thank John Page and Page Tech Technology for helping us to get this narrow cast out to you today. They have been phenomenal in setting up and helping us to do this, helping the, the, everyone, all, each one of you to see this great classic mud bowl where we've got Collins Hess, in the backfield for theology. Oh, and David the Bruiser England. Collins looks, throws it to Zach Goodchild. Let me tell you, this man is quick. Michael Radigan stops it and then throws him to the ground after the stop. Wow, that's a good move. Look at the aggressive play by Michael Radigan. Theology is excited. They are reinvigorated. Oh, moving up the field. <laughs> I think. While they're feeling good about this score, I'm pretty sure they would love to get at least one more touchdown, just one more nail in the coffin. Everything could happen right now. Well, it's guys are really on fire. Maybe not everything could happen. We got Joey and Kevin Girardi lining up outside. With, with Zach Goodchamp also lining up as a receiver. Brian Smith in the backfield with Collins Hess. Slow snap to Collins. It is a toss to Kevin Girardi. And he is finally stopped after three previous attempts. And there it is. One, one. Back to the game. Answering to the clamor of the crowd. Sam Severance puts Tuan in. I am afraid for the health of the collegians right now due to how aggressively Tuan is yeah. playing out there. That was an act of mercy right there. No, Tuan, Tuan is on fire. Tuan, Tuan wants this. Yeah, yeah, he attended practice once and that was enough. 
the rest of them needed yeah. it more frequently. All right, time out by Theology. They're going to strategize. Five seconds left in the game. There are five seconds left in this game. It has been a phenomenal mobile 2020. Yeah. I'm really excited about this. Brought to you by John Page at Page Tech. And of course, brought to you by everyone here at the Pontifical College, Josephina. I am Matthew Gubinski from Birmingham, Alabama. Joined here by Victor from Dances of Phoenix. The birthday is what I'm on here. There will be a party. Oh, yeah. 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 I don't know if it's a <laughs> and theology breaks the huddle with too many men on the field. Joey runs off the field and almost into the neighborhood. You see, he's that embarrassed for breaking the huddle. And this, of course, pushes theology back for what will likely be the last play of this. One more time, let's go. Show him who's bigger. Ah, illegal substitution. Excuse me. And there's a fumble in the backfield by Deacon Brian Smith. But again, before last year, his only time on the field had been for the band at Notre Dame. And as the game concludes, theology cuts the W 19 to 12 over the college, returning the Jason Marshall Trophy to JJ's Club. That's right. Great game. And so, in just a moment, after the teams congratulate each other and truly come together in heartfelt brotherhood, our rector, Father Bissell, will lead the guys in prayer and then present the Jason Marshall Trophy. Woo! Circle up, up here, guys, please. This is as far as they go, right? What's up? All right. We need to have the Pope with us too. Pope Chewy. The second. The second, yeah. Good. Anyway, a other thing too. So we want to say a prayer first, and uh, for all the people uh, who played and who are present. And uh, I guess I should ask the Pope: Is it okay if they kneel? Uh, let me think about it. <laughs> okay, you, you can kneel. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Heavenly Father, we give you thanks and praise for this wonderful day. We thank you for all the wonderful gifts you have given us. We thank you for the talents, the men who have played, who have participated here on the sidelines. We thank you for this opportunity to be together in these very difficult and challenging times. We pray in gratefulness and thanksgiving, as St. Paul asks us, to pray in gratefulness for all things that are given to us. We pray for the safety of the players that came to this game, for the referees, for this beautiful day. We ask you to continue to watch over us through the intercession of our patron, St. Joseph, and our Blessed Mother Mary, who we honor today on, as we do every Saturday. We ask you to continue to strengthen us, help us to be men of holiness, men of sanctity, men of grace. And we ask you to grant our many needs through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. May the blessing of Almighty God descend upon you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Now, you know, last year, we renamed the trophy in honor of Jason Marshall. And a lot of the new guys would not have met him. But uh, Jason Marshall was a seminarian from the Archdiocese of Santa Fe, New Mexico. The summer before his second year of study in the School of Theology, Jason lost his life performing a heroic and selfless act. Uh, he and a group of young people and chaperones were returning from a Catholic youth conference by charter bus, and the doctor, or I'm sorry, the uh, bus driver suffered a medical episode. 
and Jason, seeing that the driver was in distress, put himself in mortal danger by grasping the steering wheel to take control of the vehicle. But that courageous act took his own life while also preventing the bus from overturning and saving the lives of the other passengers. For those guys who did know him, his qualities were evident, both on the field and off. He was courageous, positive, mature, and he had a genuine concern for those, and it was very visible. Jason did not allow himself the luxury of self-pity. He did not shirk from challenges, nor did he question the personal cost of playing and of living with excellence and intention. So let me say, I think both, both teams, both all the players here exhibited all that today too. Very well done. But nevertheless, a game like this does have to, uh, will result in a winner. And this year I want to present the Marshall Trophy to the School of Theology. Congratulations. <laughs> Let's get together. Thank you, Mr. Lucas Gruber, Daniel Colby, our color guard today, James. Thank you, everyone uh, who came together and made this possible. Mr. George Gernetsky, I'm going to forget everyone, so I'm going to stop right now. So, thank you all very much for listening, and this concludes our broadcast. Yeah, impressive. Yep.